In this video, I'll show you how to connect your MacBook to your TV wirelessly or with a wire as well. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Connecting your Mac to your TV is really useful because either you can go and work on it or you can go and stream your favorite TV shows. Not everybody will be able to go and stream their MacBook to their TV wirelessly. I'll try best to show you, but at the end of the video, I'll also show you how you, you can use a cable to go and connect your Mac to your TV as well. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you've got a smart TV. So in this case, I've got a Hisense Roku TV, which is smart. And also you need to make sure your smart TV has got something called AirPlay. AirPlay is basically a feature that allows Apple devices to go and mirror their screens to your TV. So yeah, make sure you've got it. If you're unsure if you've got it, then what I recommend doing is going to your TV settings because it's usually going to be in there. Let's go to our TV settings. It's likely your TV will look different, but don't worry, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's just be very similar. So go to your settings and then what you need to do is scroll down. You may need to go into general or something like that on your TV. However, in this case, I've then got the option for Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. So scroll down and look for this. Then just go and tap OK or select and here we are. So as you can see, we're now getting a bit of information. So make sure your AirPlay is switched on. Just go and click it, turn it on. And then there's a few other settings, but you shouldn't need to do much. Now let's go onto our Mac like so. So on the newer Macs, it will be slightly different, but it's all very similar. So what you need to do is go to the top right of your Mac. And as you can see on my Mac, uh, you may have like an AirPlay icon, which looks like a box with an arrow on it. But in this case, I've got this control center button. So all you need to do is go and click on this here. And then as you can see, you can go and see my Wi-Fi network and you need to go and tap on screen mirroring like so. And then as you can see, it's gonna found your TV. Now, if your TV isn't showing up here, this is likely because you're on different Wi-Fi networks. So make sure you connect to the same Wi-Fi network. If you're using like boosters, internet boosters throughout your house, make sure on the same booster, then go and click on it like so. And as you can see, I now need to go and enter a code. So let me type it in now, and then it should be ready to go and connect. If I go and move back, as you can see, it should be screen mirroring any minute now. And just like that, I've now gone and connected my screen to my MacBook. And what is important to note as well is there are different settings. So in this case, I'm using like the dual display option. So for example, if I go and open up Safari, as you can see, they're not exactly the same. But then what I can do is go and drag it onto this monitor. So then all I need to do is drag it over or this way. And then as you can see, it then appears over. So you can go and change these settings so they are like exactly the same if you want them to be. To do that, just go to the bottom of your Mac and go into your settings. If I go and tap on settings like so, then what you can do is go into display. So go down to display. So go down to displays like this. And then what you can do is go and choose how you want it to be. What you just need to do is where it says use as, just tap on main display. And then what you can do if you want it to be an extended display or just a mirror. So I could tap on mirror like so. And then what will happen is, is my screens will then be exactly the same. So it's all going to depend on what you actually want. If you find that your TV doesn't have AirPlay or it isn't a smart TV, then what we can do is just go and use the traditional cable to go and connect. So what you need to do is firstly to see what ports your TV has. So it may have an HDMI port or it may have a different type. And then what you need to do is just get a cable for that. So in this case, I've gone and got an HDMI cable here. So what I can do is plug the HDMI into my MacBook and then my TV. But what's important to note as well is it will depend on what Mac you're using, but you may need to go and get an adapter to go and be able to go and plug uh, HDMI cables in or other display cables. As you can see in my case, I've got an HDMI output on my Mac, which makes things much easier. I've just got and connected my MacBook to my TV using the HDMI cable. So then what I need to do is go to the HDMI sources. So I'll have to go and check which one it is, but I think it's HDMI 3. And there we go. I've now gone and connected my MacBook to my TV. It's that easy. So you may need to go and check which source uh, you plugged it into. So just go and check them all using your remote. And once again, you can go and change the display settings as well. So tap on system settings. And then all you need to do is go to your display settings. So scroll down to display just here and go and click on it. And then what you can do is go and change the settings here. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.